Welcome to my attempt at No Spooning Factorio, also known as the achievement for beating the game under 8 hours. I should establish my Factorio background so you know the full force of my Factorio inexperience before trying this run. I bought the game August 2019 and beat the game September 2019, promptly forgetting about it for 4 years. My friend bought the game December 2023 and finding out you could play it cooperatively, we gave it a go in January of 2024. About 20 hours in, we were looking for the game achievements, and we saw the achievement for beating it under 8 hours. Now, this seemed impossible, but some quick googling later I found a Reddit thread saying you could mess with some of the game settings, mainly setting pollution diffusion to 0 and maximizing resource size so biters wouldn't attack you. Thinking without attacks this sounds pretty easy, I decided to give it a go. In terms of a plan, I had no plan. Well, not entirely. I had three principles to help me. I figured I should always be doing something, so I tried not to be idle. Two, I didn't want some idea of what I should build, so I kept opening the research menu, searching rocket silo and scrolling up to try staying one step ahead of the research for my building. And three, I decided to stream my attempt on Twitch. Even though I am unfamiliar with Twitch, I am familiar with the internet. And the quickest way to get help on the internet is to post something wrong on the internet. So I figured people would tell me if I was doing anything wrong. Look at that speed. Look at that efficiency. It was right away I realized I had forgotten the start of the game, but I pressed on. 12 minutes into the run, I got the steam engines down. With power, what would stop me now? 13 minutes in, I got a science lab down and started crafting 10 red bottles after checking how many I needed for automation. 16 minutes in, automation had finished researching, as I carefully consider my next move. I promptly forgot I had actually researched automation and handcrafted 20 red bottles so I can research logistics. I also don't realize I can start to research before all the bottles are finished, so I just wait till they are all done. 18 minutes in, logistics has started researching. Nothing really happens for a while, and 34 minutes in, I finally place down my first assembler. Watch out, Spoon, I'm coming for you. Granted, it does take a whole minute before they start producing anything. You may find whenever I had no idea what to do, I went to chop trees. Because I figured I could always use the wood. 37 minutes in, red science had been automated. I am now officially a professional. I get right to researching the green science models. At 38 minutes in, I automate green bottles. Beating the hour mark, spirits are flying high. 1 hour, 14 minutes in, I kinda automate steel bar making. I do promptly put them into a chest since I remember they are important but don't exactly remember what they're for. Over the next hour, the factory grew, and at 2 hours and 15 minutes in, blue search had finished. 2 hours and 20 minutes into my run, I have oil mining. Shout out to Twitch chat for pointing out most of my miners were not in fact connected to my pipe network. 2 hours and 43 minutes in, I now have the blue boys automated. It only takes me 5 minutes to belt them over to my science stations. What you are seeing here is peak efficiency. I've been eyeing the coalless furnace research since I started this run. 3 hours and 12 minutes in, mystery purple research starts. 3 hours and 12 minutes in, mystery purple liquid research starts. And 38 minutes later, at 3 hours and 50 minutes, Grape Drink has been automated. 3 hours and 52 minutes. My customary look at the tech tree to see what I need to search next. I really wish I could just click on the rocket and it would auto-populate the research as needed. You can see me struggling in real time trying to queue up the next few researchers. At the 4 hour mark, I decided to replace a bunch of my coal furnaces with electric, only to promptly find out my base is seriously lacking in power. So of course, I spend the next 15 minutes overcompensating to ensure I will never run out of power again. 
four hours and 52 minutes in. It is now that someone in Twitch chat tells me I can put the achievement on the screen so I will know how much time is left. Now there is a handy timer in the top left corner. Also, Lemonade Science has finished researching now. With two hours and 49 minutes left, Yellow Research has been fully automated. Here, Twitch chat hits me with a bombshell, telling me I should probably start making the rocket parts if I want to finish on time. I look at the research and see the rocket needs 10 of each, which in my mind does not really seem like it would take that long. Only for someone to inform me that that's for one rocket part, and the rocket requires 100 parts to launch. I'm not gonna lie, I was a wee bit panicked after hearing that. Here I am automating 8 assemblers of rocket fuel to get those 1000 parts. And by 8 assemblers, I mean 4, because I forgot to put down the other 4. This may cause a problem later. With 2 hours and 20 minutes left, I start researching the rocket silo. 40 minutes later, I realize I probably don't need any more science cleaning up all my stuff, so I turn off all science production. I am so confident I repurposed the lemonade assembler to make rocket control units, with rocket silo research at 98%. At 1 hour and 20 minutes to go, I place down the rocket silo. At an hour and 17 minutes to go, everything is ready for launch. Quick math says I should have enough rocket control units at 15 minutes to go to launch, assuming green and red circuits hold up. Which they currently don't, but I spend the next 30 minutes finagling tiny improvements to my circuit production here and there to make it all right. As I tour my base, I can't help but think I would have access to so many more resources if I didn't build my assemblers on top of the resource fields. It is suggested that if my rocket had productivity modules, I would not need as many resources to launch. I decide to give it a try and craft some to put them in. Well, this probably would have uh, been a good idea before the rocket progress was at 46%, but better late than never, I guess. I only crafted two since I'm seven and a half hours into the run at this point, and I don't want to repurpose my wonderfully functioning factory to make trees. I stare in awe at the progress waiting to get the free rocket part. With 25 minutes left, I find out I'm out of the rocket fuel. Panic properly sets in now. I quickly run to fix the fuel situation. With that settled, I go to catch a fish. And with more than 5 minutes to spare, the rocket finishes building. I open up the rocket inventory, loaded with fish, and set it off with five minutes to spare. With that finished, I'm just going to give you a quick look at my base. My science production has been turned off, so most of my factory should be idle. They're the ones still making rocket parts. I do realize that there's probably proper ratios for all the factories and how much goes into what. I figured if I failed this run, I would learn those and try again, but it, it all worked out on the concept of just make enough so it feels right. Now, there is one more achievement I wanted to try. And this one, I think, is going to be the hardest one of all. There's some easy ones, well, they seem easy, like build a locomotive. Since I know there is an achievement for building a locomotive under 90 minutes, you kick off two birds with one stone there. But the hard one, the one I fear, is the one at the bottom here. 
win the game by manually crafting less than 111 items. When I play, my toolbar is always, always filled, fully crafting at all times. And I know you don't start with assemblers, so a lot of those 111 must go towards building your, your first assembler. Yeah, I really want to try that one because I feel like it would force me to play Factorio in an entirely different manner. Well, thanks for watching. Bye.